something magical is about to happen. It's called the Kiss Goodnight. I believe this happens every day at 10 and then also at midnight. So people are gathering here in the atrium. We're gonna see what it's all about because I have no idea. It's 10 o'clock. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that, look at that. Wow. Get out of here. No way. Oh, look at it coming down on the pillars. This is only twice a night, by the way, guys. That's pretty. Kind of a crazy cool way to start a vlog, to be honest. Welcome back to the Disney Wish. This is still technically day one. We're combining day one and day two together. Worth it, huh? That's that. That was yeah. so sick. Oh my god, baby. <laughs> wow, we got a sea lion. Get out of here. How cool is that? He used my sunglasses. All right. What do we got here? Two little chocolates, sweet dreams. And I love Disney cruises. Jojo won rock, paper, scissors. He gets that bed. Here's mine. Turn some lights so you guys can see this. There we go. There's my lovely bed. That one actually also pulls down too. So you can have basically a bunk bed. But yeah, nice surprise. I'm gonna take a shower real quick before we venture on out. But I just wanna show you guys the shower again because it's just, it's amazing. Wait, this can go both ways. That's neat. But it's kind of just hard to imagine that this is a shower on a cruise ship with how cool it is, you know? It's pretty nice. You don't get this every cruise you go on, so I'm gonna shower a lot. <gasps> but I have the rainforest. It's gonna be tomorrow morning. Here we go. Man, I really love the carpets. I think we're gonna go get like a drink just to kind of put us to sleep, so some nice wine. And then call it a night and make up. A nightcap. He keeps forgetting that word. It's called a nightcap. A nightcap. Also, these elevator buttons are weird. They're like, they don't push in. It's like you tap them, like an iPad. Let me tell you, I thought coming at 11 o'clock at night, guest relations wouldn't have a line. They have had a constant line all day. Get it done first thing you get on the ship. Best advice for you. Okay, check this out. This is the menu, everybody. Unbelievable. So you click Mama's Concoctions, you can see what they all have here. You go back, you can see what beers they have, and it's got little images. You go back, you can see the wine, has images of the bottles. This changes game. And then Zero Proof, this is just not on hawk stuff, but this is incredible. I think this is the first time that I'm ever ordering wine on a cruise ship. We're getting a Kendall Jackson. Can I get a Merlot? Pretty cool, right? We're also in the Bayou. Open till one. Oh, we're gonna try it. Watch him not like it. That was good. It's a chugger. <laughs> if wine's chugging, it's actually really good. I'll take it. Cheers, my friend. It has been a great first day, even though it's a second vlog for you guys. <laughs> a big tip for you guys, these bayou seats are really comfortable. 10 out of 10. Quick little heads up, the Bayou is the only bar open until 1 a.m. So a lot of you guys might be spending some time in here. I'm getting my second glass of wine. We saw the first one earlier and now we're gonna watch the second kiss. Yeah. Good night, a lot of people lay down on the ground so that's a tip, we'll be down there. It's midnight. It's midnight for real this time. Pretty nice, nobody is up. It's 1.30 in the morning, what are we doing up? I'll see you guys tomorrow.
It's about 6.37 here, day number two, and I'm headed to the rainforest. We're gonna check this out. Hopefully there's not that many people here. That's my plan. Hopefully everyone's sleeping on in, which will be perfect for me. We'll have the rainforest to herself. Now the rainforest was about $195 for three nights for the whole cruise, but you can come and go whenever you please. And here's a look at the rainforest. Just kidding. Looks like it doesn't open till 8 a.m., but that's okay, I'll come back, because that's kind of when I actually planned it on coming after we do a little things this morning, so good to know. It doesn't open till 8, which is kind of a bummer. In the meantime, we do have a beautiful sunrise. We're not at NASA yet. Ooh, that was a big wave. Boy, oh boy. Maybe we go get breakfast? I have a great idea. Coffee is definitely open in the morning. Look at the atrium all empty. The sword in the so stone cafe. Not sure if they're open. I hope they're open. Let's get some coffee and then maybe go get some breakfast. They don't open until 7.30, so let's go on up to the Marceline Market, and maybe they're open. If you're wondering why I'm up so early, I obviously had planned to go to uh, the, the rainforest, but I'm like wide awake, and it's a new ship, and when it's a new ship, I have to get up this early to kind of experience it all by myself when no one's up. It's a really cool feeling, so if you, you have the energy, do it. Elevators here. Looks like they don't open until seven. This is probably the first thing we'll do in the morning because that's in 10 minutes. So breakfast opened up a little bit early, like five minutes or early. So we're going to the Marceline Market, which is, uh, I think, based on where Walt Disney grew up in Missouri, because I know he grew up in Marceline, Missouri, but I've actually never been in here before. So this is my first time stepping on into the buffet area. Hello, good morning. Good morning, welcome to Marceline Market. Thank you so much. We're gonna do some washy-washy right here beforehand, and then um, we'll get to eating. Cool, anyone can cook, besides me. Oh, that's interesting. We'll check this out. Holy cow, right to the left, we have, oh, it's gonna be coffee? Cool. This is unexpected. Very nice, the other side isn't open, I believe, until like nine. But I didn't expect there to be a little coffee place here in the morning. Sweet. We'll look at that in a second, because I want to get some food. Classic Disney theming on the walls here. There's so many things to look at. I love that. But let's go see what they have to eat. There's like nobody here. Best time to come. Chef's counter. All right. Oh, uh, we'll do bacon. Bacon, and we'll do some sausage. And I'll take some of that amazing sauce right there. And then I'll take some eggs and hash browns as well. So there's actually other options as well. This is what you're hit with first. We've got the signature choices. Looks to be, oh, you make your own omelet. Not your own omelet, I got this wrong. Could get, you got the kids counter. That's gonna be waffles, pancakes. That looks delicious. And uh, the Market Deli, so uh, it's gonna be your cheese selections. Mango Mountain Hike. That sounds delicious. What do we got here? Banana flaxseed and dried cranberries. Morning snowfall. What? We'll check some more out after I eat this. I wanna see how good it is. But first, it looks like on the Disney Cruise, we actually serve ourselves with the soda, soft beverages, and of course, or morning orange juice. 
And if you know me, I'm grabbing a window spot, hands down. Similar to uh, rope dropping at Disney Park, I love uh, rope dropping mornings when I can get up. Today I had so much energy. It's just nice because there's no one around me. It's beautiful. Curious how good these eggs are gonna be. Not bad. Hashy the brownie. It's a good hash brown. And our eggs Benedict. Let's take a grand bite of this. That is delicious. Messy, obviously, but pretty dang good for cruise ship breakfast. Wanted to try this mango mountain hike. I have no idea what it is, but it sounds up my alley. Mmm. This is delicious. Holy cow. Tastes just like mangoes. Mmm. Try this. It's delicious. Oh my gosh, like a smoothie. I love that. Probably better than the normal breakfast. Now the other side is closed, but I decided to come on over here to give you guys kind of a look at what the seating arrangement looks like. It's mirrored, so it looks exactly the same as the other side, but as you can see, the food which we just enjoyed is not open. I believe this opens at 9, 9.30. I feel like the space where you get the food is pretty narrow, so it can get pretty busy. Keep that in mind. But um, should be sufficient. Just worried about how busy it gets here. You see how there's like not much space for lines. I don't know. Pretty nice. The Marceline Market. I found a little hidden place here in a, the Marceline Market. This area is kind of like at the front. But if you guys want like a nice area where hopefully there's not a lot of people, come back in the, the left hand side of the front. But it's quite away from all of the food. But these are the only like two food booths that I've seen. So it's kind of like a hidden little area on the ship. I'd say that was some good breakfast food. It was pretty good. <sighs> Holy cow, guys. I have been running around the ship like crazy this morning. I've uh, recorded a whole ship tour. That's gonna be out some other time, but I actually came up to the hero zone. It's all blown up now. Let's check this out. Here's a look at the Incredi blown up course. This is just like an open house for it. I know later on they do like a family challenge, like which family can do it the fastest. I do need a coffee though, for sure. And then we're gonna head to the rainforest because I wanna relax after running around everywhere. I don't know when that ship tour is gonna be out, but we also did find our rubber ducky. You have to wait for that video. Good morning, Kyle. Good morning, <laughs> how's it going? Um, coffee's not free, by the way. It's six dollars and twenty cents, so that kind of stinks, but it is what it is. If you buy five, by the way, you get one free. So if you spend thirty bucks on coffee, you get one for free. Let's go! Thank you. Any way to save money at Disney, I'll take it. <laughs> Who would have thought? More expensive than Starbucks. It's not bad. It's not great. I ran on in it to some of you. Chuck, right? Right. And they have a huge balcony. We might see it a little bit later, but if we don't, it was nice running into you guys. Nice to see you. Nice seeing you, man. It's a big balcony. I'm jealous. I'm gonna sit here and edit that tour video. Oh, by the way, we're in the Bahamas, and here is our look at our update at the new Bahama port. We're not gonna be getting off. Today is just a Disney wish day. We always come back to the Bahamas, so, you know, have no adventures planned other than this beautiful ship of ours. I've thought of a cool idea. I'm actually gonna get off the ship, but today we've got a lot more to look forward to. We first of all have the Marvel dinner show tonight. We have, um, I think I'm gonna go on the Aqua Mouse. Uh, in a little bit as well, but before all of that, I'm gonna go. Where are we? Five, one more. I'm. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Dad. Dad. What? 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 Dad. 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 <laughs> How's it going, guys? Keep running into you guys. I love y'all. I love y'all. Um, wow. We've got Rapunzel, Tiana, and Moana here. Speaking of Moana, we're gonna be in Hawaii soon, August seventh. Can't wait for that. But I'm gonna get off the ship so I can show you guys the ship and get back on and go chill in the, the rainforest. Now to get off the ship, it's very simple, 
Just go down to deck number one. That's about it. Wow. Magic. A great look at our beautiful ship. Ha! Huh. Lovely, right? You know, and if you guys don't, you probably should follow my Instagram because Instagram gets like the live looks in before the vlogs. Go ahead and follow my Instagram, the Disney Wish beautiful ship. Fun fact, uh, Disney is the only ones with the color of those uh, boats. Everybody else has orange. Disney can have yellow to match Mickey Mouse's shoes. It's a huge ship, actually. Let's check out the stern real quick. Or sorry, the aft, my bad. Very weird as well. We're the only cruise ship in port right now. In the Bahamas? Yeah, this is odd. Usually there's so many people. Don't have any today. Not many. Finally, a great look at Punzi and Pascal. There they are. So cool. Throw down your hair, Rapunzel. Let down your hair. So weird seeing this port with only one ship in here. I mean, it's kind of how I started my cruise adventures with COVID. We were the only ones. But I just got word the Disney Wish is the only one docking today. Nuts, right? Beautiful. All right, let's get back on, shall we? Back on we go. Bon voyage, back on. To the rainforest we go. All I need to do is drop this off. I have a sticker and he's gonna give me something magical. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for the trade, Oh, my bad. All right, so I wanna show you guys the rainforest because this was a total of about $200 for three nights, only for one person. And you guys can be the judge if it's worth it or not. Hopefully it's not crowded because the other nights or the other times I've been here, it hasn't been crowded. But this is what $200 gets you. First up, gonna go in the, the men's changing room. Actually, yeah. Inside the men's changing room, this is called the relaxation area. Look at this. Okay. It's very interesting. I made sure no one's in here. And here's a look at the, the changing room. It's like a typical spa. It smells really good in here. Gotta get a locker. Hello. This, by the way, is to unlock the door. I'm gonna laugh if the one time I wanna come here and it's completely full. Without further ado, welcome to the rainforest. We've got an ice room. We've got these heated lounge chairs that you see in spas all the time. In a beautiful outdoor space. And luckily for us, no one's here again. I will say though, unlike the dream, the showers kind of feel out in the, the open. So it's like people are gonna watch you if they're sitting here chilling. We also have two steam rooms as well. Ooh. Ooh, it's like a bamboo room. Now this I like. It smells so good in here. It's toasty. Let's sweat all that food away. This room kind of reminds me of Florida when you first get in your car. It's what it feels like. Hot. It's colder, I feel like I'm in Wisconsin. It's not as bad as I thought. I mean, you guys can be the judge at the end of the day. This is what you get for basically $200 per person. Kind of pricey, but it's like your own little paradise. It's not too crowded, at least right now, until people find out about it. Let me know down below. Would you guys buy buy this? Well, my review of the rainforest is, it's expensive to say the least. And I think it's that expensive so it's not crowded. Um, I do wish like the, the showers were a little bit more hidden and um, not so far up in the open because I feel like it's kind of just, everyone's watching you shower, but um, it's relaxing for sure. 
Personally, I don't think it's for me, um, but the nice thing is you can come every single day. It's a nice way to get a shower. Obviously, you can hit the shower with like swimming trunks on, but it's pretty relaxing. Really wasn't busy at all, but um, $200 per person, pretty darn expensive. Um, I was only there for like 45 minutes, so do the math. It's, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna come tomorrow, but pretty darn expensive. I don't know, what are your guys' thoughts down below? I mean, it is beautiful though. It is really nice. I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like it's missing something. But other than that, it's kind of a nice getaway. What do you guys think? We do get free Q-tips though, look at that. What a perk. I think we learned from this is that I'd rather prefer a massage, but it's like a nice little hideaway on the ship. If you um, like that kind of stuff, it's beautiful. It's nice, and a lot of people seem to like it. Definitely worked up an appetite sitting there though. I wanna head on up to get some barbecue. It's so good. I hope they're open. I cannot stress this enough. Make sure you get this. It is fire. I'm serious, guys. This is some of the best cruise food I've had. This food is so good. I would book this cruise again just to eat this. And then we have tacos. Everybody's talking about these tacos. It's a long line. Looks like you can get everything from a bowl to tacos to a burrito. Holy camole. I think I'm gonna go for a bowl. On top of all of the stuff you can put on it, they've got a lot of hot sauces. I've added chipotle hot sauce. I can already tell this is gonna be fire. Absolutely fire. Oh my God, yeah. Tacos and the barbecue. Absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. I can't stress you enough how good that food was. I kind of want to go on the Aqua Mouse. I gotta reconnect with Jojo, but looks like right now is not the time. A very long line. Hello, room. Housekeeping! Hey, yo. Disney beds are honestly some of the best beds on cruise ships. Agreed. Like, this is so comfortable. Every cruise ship needs a bed like this. Like, it's, it's to die for. And it's mine tonight. <laughs> Sleeping in it last night was actually divine. I passed out like a little baby. It's better than my bed, honestly, at home. Agreed. Cheesecake. Wings. Very good wings. I got room service because I live my best life. Wait till you guys see what we're about to see. We're gonna be see seeing an ADA room and the balcony is massive. Um, a couple of you guys said hi to me earlier and they offered to show me, to show you guys this uh, huge room. This is a standard room, but if you have a wheelchair, if you have an ECV, look at this balcony. This is unheard of. I have never seen this on a regular cruise ship. Wow. Unbelievable. By the way, that room is again, a standard veranda, 7196 for a uh, ADA. Insane, so cool. Unbelievable. Well, it is time for the one and only Aqua Mouse. We'll see how long this takes. It's a 60 minutes, what? Let's pray it's like Disney World where they put, put very inflated wait times. That's a long wait. <laughs> 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. by the way, the hours, well, for today. Oh! Get it, Jojo. Goofy. That was kind of cool. Oh, it's like a little mist. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I did not expect that. All right, here comes the insanity. Jojo, it's dark up there. Uh-oh, it's dark. 
Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my god. Whoa. As you guys basically saw, it's a little attraction just going up the hill of cute little Mickey things. Then you get in that dark tunnel. I thought that was gonna like glow, it didn't really glow too much. And then you pick up speed, and then you're kind of done. Cowabunga. The wait time was only about 35 minutes, not 60 at all, so it's kind of like Disney World, they inflate it. Ooh, the duck's hot. Tomorrow we'll be conquering that slide. We're gonna try to find the best time to go on these slides because today at Nassau, it seems like nobody really got off this ship. It was pretty crowded. To say the least. Also, someone went poo poo in the pool. So I have to drain it. And it's nasty. Totally forgot that it's Pirates Night tonight. We have Donald, we have Minnie, and then we have Shmi and Hook all out here in the atrium. It's gonna be a uh, an hour of a night. Also, Chewie and Ray are on the ship. Check that out. Can we do a fist pound? Fist pound? Air fist pound? Air fist pound? Air fist pound? There we go. Boom. Oh man, Donald. Arrgh. Arrgh. Avengers. Uh, assemble. It is time for the Marvel Dining Experience. The world of Marvel, baby. Let's see what this is all about. I'm super duper excited. I hope you guys are. You got a little sneak peek last night when we thought we were supposed to be dining here. But tonight is the night. Now, <laughs> now as we're coming down, you can see on this ceiling we've got the arc reactor hello <laughs> this is what's going to be powering the uh, restaurant and that's also what powers the one and only iron man people are leaving their dining experience i'm going to wait for everyone to pile on out because that means everything's gonna be empty but here's kind of a look at what we're dealing with there's like four sections of the same like this hopefully we get a tv screen you know like a screen over there i hope if not, we'll still be able to film it, but here's kind of a look at what this lovely experience, way different than what we experienced last night, is themed to. There's the arc reactor as well. I believe that's what it is, what's powering this. It's Ant-Man, themed to Ant-Man. Avengers, assemble. <laughs> Actually, sorry, really quick. Oh, and an FYI, I totally forgot to say this the other day. We paid about 1.2. We had 50% off our cruise ship. So we got a great deal. I forgot to say that in yesterday's vlog. I'm so sorry. To get in right now, there is a long line. Show up early to the Marvel Dining because so does everybody else. And um, if you get here in the, in the front, the, the better you'll be. Quick look at the alcohol menu. I think I'm actually gonna get the Quantum Core Sipper just because I want to show you guys what this is. You actually get to take the souvenir, here, souvenir, souvenir uh, sipper home, and uh, there's actually a Wakanda Forever, and it, these are not alcohol beverages, and um, yeah. And while we're at it, let's take a look at the menu. We're gonna do, gonna do two apps, two entrees like we normally do on a cruise ship, and I think I know what I want already. Two apps, two entrees, already ordered. But now, let's see what happens with the world around us. Also, we got this really cool bun. It's red. I think it's just a regular bun. Regular bun, but it's red like Marvel. This bun kind of has like a red velvety taste. Just a hint of it. Just a hint, not a lot. Our first appetizer has arrived, the steamed bale bun. We've got ginger, orange, pork belly, toasted sesame seeds, pickles, onions and some soy honey glaze let's give it a rip here we go okay i feel it kind of needs some sauce but i'm digging it i did decide to get the quantum core sipper as well it's 20 dollars. you get to take home the quantum core 
which is actually part of what we're gonna be doing tonight with dinner. We have no idea what we have to do with this yet, but I get a take home of the sipper and it's not an alcoholic drink and I kinda wanna try it. But the important thing is we get to take home the sipper. Ooh, it's kinda like a smoothie. Not bad, and it's like lighting up, can you see that? It's good, it's like a smoothie. Okay, Disney. You guys know what? I had to see, I had to order it. it was on the menu. We got some crispy breaded fried shrimp. Now normally we get a shrimp cocktail on uh, cruises. Haven't really seen that. But we got some white ch cheddar and corn grits, bell peppers, my favorite, green smokehouse and barbecue sauce. Let's give it a go. I thought I was going to be getting more than one shrimp, but we got a jumbo shrimp, so we'll see how this bad boy is. This is a huge shrimp. This thing has been alive for a while. Oh I'm the real. Not the biggest fan of this shrimp though. It's a little bit too big for me. I kind of like my shrimp a little bit smaller than this. Sort of just kind of noticed, but look at the salt and pepper. How cool is that? Good evening, everyone. Please welcome yes. Scott Lang and Hope Van Dyne. I'm Scott Lang. Uh, but you might know me as Ant Man. And I am Hope Van Dyne, the Wasp. I've heard a lot of chatter out there asking why I didn't. Shrimp down, go in, <laughs> Shoot. and uh, kill Thanos in a really creative way. <laughs> First of all, gross. <laughs> Secondly, it's much more complicated than that. Let's shrink something already, huh? Yes. It's like Pims. <sighs> because I couldn't put it under the bed. To push your oh. oh, ready? Yes. Three, two, one. one. Shrink. Whoa. Whoa. Yo. Yo, look at everyone. Yeah, everyone's just glowing. We did it. Pretty sweet, right? Oh no, we beat this one huge. Oh. Oh. Entrees have arrived. We've got some good old ribeyed steak with black truffled butter. Looks delicious. Hopefully it is delicious. And then we also got the golden pasta as well. If I see truffled butter on the menu, yeah, betcha I'm ordering it. That's better than um, our filet last night. It's delicious. I love truffle butter with all my heart. I do love angel hair pasta, but I think tonight, the meat wins, and it changes on the screen. Oh, oh no! What? What? Uh, we got a problem, man. man. Oh my gosh! We are in trouble. Uh. Be aware, guys. Dinner kind of does take a while. I would at least expect an hour and a half to two hours. So uh, expect that. We did just order dessert. Here's a look at the menu. We decided to get the cheesecake bites and the pim donut sundae. This makes no sense because Ultron is in here and he's supposed oh, to be get dead. Out of my way. Oh wow! Like, oh. I'm so confused. Well, the show's still going on. This is some good cheesecake. Oh my god! This is way better than a room service cheesecake. I already had some cheesecake today. Hey guys! Hello! Me? Both dinners were really good. We're just crunched in time right now for Pirate Night. If you guys want a good spot for the fireworks and Pirate Night, I would try to get first dining because we are low on time right now.
guys, I'm so sorry. I feel like I failed you guys on Pirate Night. If you can, try to get a good view of the stage. Unfortunately, um, I failed you guys and I didn't really get a good view. I uh, got a good view of the fireworks show, which lasts pretty darn long. Kind of just like this vlog. This is a long, long vlog. If you guys made it, say, made it down in the comments. But a um, little bit disappointed in myself on how I wasn't able to film much of the stage show. But we did get a good view of the fireworks show. Pirate Night is really fun. It's uh, a huge rock concert before a lot of fun happens like Jack Sparrow and then the fireworks. But that's it for day two here on the Disney Wish. Tomorrow is going to be cast away. And I think I'll be getting off for a little bit. But we have a lot of fun like Hyperspace Lounge tomorrow. Will we get the $5,000 drink? Probably not. We'll see. Maybe they give it to us for free. I don't know. But uh, thanks for tuning in here. This is a long one, but there's a lot of fun to be had here. And uh, that was it for you guys' Daily Dose. Time to edit and uh, get this one up for you guys. So thank you guys so much for all the support. And I'll see you tomorrow.